Wrapping up the playlist here of Chair Shot Reality on Wrestling Inc. Josh Eisenberg down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I am Josh Lavar here in Pittsburgh. Coming off of our WrestleMania hangover, we get a big thanks to Spirits on Bourbon, Ticket King, all of our friends uh, and fans who came out to support us. It was another successful eight years in a row now, Josh, that we have been doing CSR on location. And we're still into each other, Justin. We need counseling. Uh, all right, Superstar Shakeup. We've seen a couple of these in the past. Uh, once again, they are going to shift and uh, shake the rosters up. Of course, we're move, getting ready to move into joint pay-per-views once again. But the difference between this one, Josh, and, and past shakeups, past drafts, is that SmackDown is finally live. So I think we can all agree there's a bit of a fighting chance for it to still uh, hold its own uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the internal brand wars that is the red brand versus the blue brand. So let's start off with uh, Monday night when we get the shakeup. Who is Raw going to acquire? Who is somebody you think Monday Night Raw needs to acquire? Monday Night Raw needs to acquire somebody that struts like Flair, looks like the Nature Boy, and lights shine on him ever so glorious, Justin. Bobby Roode, a guy that I have always been high on, even in his TNA days, has an interesting past so far on SmackDown Live from his debut six months ago. He's become a United States Champion only to lose it to Randy Orton and then losing his match at WrestleMania. The guy's entrance is still glorious. People still want to see Bobby Roode but you need to make Bobby Roode go to Monday Night Raw. It would be excellent for Bobby Roode to actually be what he was in NXT and be a heel. It's never so simple, oh, face heel, face heel, face heel. That's always people's answers for trying to help guys elevate themselves into the next level. But right now with the Intercontinental Championship division, with guys like The Miz and guys like Seth Rollins, I think Bobby Roode fits in there perfectly and fits in there in a more cocky and more arrogant way. Hell, if you really want to up Bobby Roode's stock, why not add Bobby Roode to the Miz Tarash? Bobby Roode, the Miz, I'd love to see that feud. And the Miz and Bobby Roode, they get cheered no matter if they're faces or their heels. But I want to see Bobby Roode on Monday Night Raw. He can thrive. That's my pick for Monday Night Raw, Justin. Are you saying Roode against Miz or Roode in the Miz Tarash? Roode in the Miz Tarash with the potential of Miz versus Roode down the road. But I mean, anyway, anyway you book it. Ms. Rude, Ms. Rollins, I mean, uh, Rollins, Rude. Uh, it could be really interesting television for that mid-card title. Well, somebody else who I think we could uh, see uh, prosper in the mid-card, and then we could see move over to Monday Night Raw, and it's fitting because this Monday on Monday Night Raw, it is, in fact, Rusev Day. So I think, Every day is Rusev Day, Justin. <laughs> I think if we could have Rusev move over to Monday Night Raw, look, Rusev, he's... Um, uh, he, sh you know, he shot out. He shot with the rocket here in the last few months. I mean, the Rusev Day thing has gotten over him as a babyface, completely abandoning the you know what brought him originally to WWE with the you know the the traditional foreign heel gimmick. Hey, all all characters have to evolve. He has evolved. The merchandise is selling well. I think obviously SmackDown only a two-hour show. Segments tend to be tighter. I think moving Rusev over to Raw could open up uh, a whole new playing field, not only of fresh opponents, but a whole new playing field of you know. No matter how, no matter how equal we try to have Raw and SmackDown, and the fact that SmackDown is live, Raw still always is going to be that one A show. It's always a flagship. It's the longest running. It's what started it all. It's Vince's baby. So I think if we could take Rusev and the entertainment that Rusev is, along with that 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 powerful selling merchandise that he continues to have, and you put it directly in front of Vince McMahon, because Vince is not always at SmackDown anymore. If you put it directly in front of Vince and you put it with some of the other uh, options and, and opportunities you could present on Monday Night Raw and the booking, I think that could be really well for Rusev. And yes, bring a in English along with them. Yeah, Monday Night Rusev, Justin. I'm on board with hey. that. I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be another t-shirt like Monday Night Rollins. You do that. But I want to know your thoughts, Justin. My guy from Raw that I think really needs to go to SmackDown for multiple reasons, I'm going to go Finn Balor. Now, this isn't a downgrade to Finn Balor. Actually, this is going to be a huge upgrade for him. Looking at SmackDown the past year, two years, ever since it's been live, uh, you've seen a lot of great athleticism. You've seen storylines for dream matches. You've seen Styles and Nakamura. You've seen guys like Ziggler and Nakamura or Styles and Ambrose. You've, you've seen more athletic, more versatile, and more interesting, in my opinion, characters on SmackDown Live. So why would you not put Finn Balor over there? Because everybody wants to see a club fight, right? They want to see Styles versus Balor down the road and not thrown on a random pay-per-view for Raw just in the nick of time. You want to see a long-developed storyline. So you see Styles there. You see Balor there. Hell, you can still have guys like Nakamura and Baron Corbin to spice things up down the road. Finn Balor should be in a world championship picture, but it should not be the universal championship on Raw, more likely facing AJ Styles down the road. And who knows, maybe we have dream match number two next year at WrestleMania in New York, Finn Balor and AJ Styles. Because personally, I could see WWE keeping the title on AJ Styles for that long.
A lot of a lot of fair and wise points there, Josh. And, and you know we got to figure. I am wise, Justin. We got to figure that Raw is going to acquire more people again, as they tend to do, because it's a longer show. And not and not remember, it's not just about the three-hour TV show, but it's also about the roster as a whole. And the each Raw and SmackDown mm -hmm. have live event tours they have to satisfy. So you need guys to fill out these live event tours. So even as we trickle down to some of the lesser known or, or lesser you know important names. Uh, Raw is going to get more. So I think it's important at SmackDown, get a few swerve surprises, a few big names. And I think somebody who could be primed to get ready to come back from injury has been out since the night after SummerSlam. And again, WWE is all about casting. We got a big man in Braun Strowman on Monday Night Raw. We assume he's going to stay there. Uh, I think SmackDown could get a huge, uh, it could be a huge coup for them, whether he's a heel or a face, but have, have big casts. When big cast is ready to come back, have big cast. He's seven foot tall. You can't teach that. Put him on Tuesday night SmackDown again. Whether he's he, whether whether you want to position him as a, as a fan favorite or or, or as the nasty uh, heel from New York City, either which way you can make a case where he could fit uh, really well on SmackDown. I'd love to see Big Cass. Um, I, I think that would make a lot of sense. And again, it would be kind of it'd feel something special for SmackDown uh, because he is pretty over with the fans one way or the other, and, and nobody's really thinking about him because he's been gone for so long. Uh, I think that would be a huge boost for the Blue Brand on Tuesday night. All right, Josh, that's going to do it. WWE Superstar Shakeup. We will be, of course, live tweeting Monday night and Tuesday night. Live tweet along with us. Let us know what you think. We'll see how right or wrong we are, and we'll be back next week here at Chair Shot Reality to break it all down. For Katie Arquette, for Josh Eisenberg, Drew Springsteen, hopefully he gets back from New Orleans. I don't know where he is. I think he's lost somewhere in the French Quarter on that barber chair and spirits on bourbon. We'll see you next week. <laughs>